Hey, what's up? Nan fan here. Uh, all right. Just a little warning here. Uh, I record this video and turn out my microphone on my computer and pick it up. So I'm using my iPod right now to capture audio. But anyways, here we go. So um, right now, showing you what I, the file I uh, created. Um, well, I took um, in Curtis Hickson Park with my friend Orlan breakdancing, and uh, I shared this photo on online, and some of you guys asked how I did it. So this is a raw photo right here, the the rawness of it. Um, you know, as we all know, when you look behind the camera, it looks great, but you know, when you put when you input the raw import the raw, and you're like, what the hell just happened? So here's all my adjustments here, and you know, this is just my preference. You do what you want to do when you import your files, but this is my preference. Oh, as you notice, um, I could, you know, I went over the crop angle. I changed the cropping of it. Yeah, there you go. I went back to it because I like the lines. Like, I'm going to put the mouse cursor where the line is on the brick. I, those kind of things, they draw your eye. So the lines of the brick, the, how straight the buildings are to help the, <laughs> to help the eye. Um, give us some mm, some structure let's say especially him going vertical too i i can't stand cricket picture because every time i see a cricket picture it gives me a headache and i don't want to do that to people i mean some people could pull it off i can't i'm not that skilled making cricket pictures so um yeah so this is my final image what i did in lightroom so what i did is uh well, eventually, I'm going to show you. I export this as a TIFF file, a 16 bit TIFF file. Okay. And open this in uh, Photoshop. On this current computer, I have uh, Photoshop CS3. I'm going to create a unique name because I already created it before um, on another project. So, CS3 should open in a minute, and bam. Um, now, I'm not too sure you're Photoshop savvy. I'm not, so just bear with me. Uh, I just use Photoshop for the things I need, and I'm still learning. So right here, I'm showing you. You need a, you should duplicate your background layer, your initial layer, because you never know when you might you messed up, messed it up, and then you had to go back to your original file and or go back in Lightroom and create another file. You know, there's no need to waste time. So so I create a copy. And I'm saying that, uh, I think, what's my mouse doing? Oh, so what I'm trying to say is that I want to desaturate the background to make him, make Orlan pop out a little bit. And um, as you can see, he's a bit over sharpened. I'm not going to lie. So to do to desaturate the background and make Orlan pop out a little bit, I'm going to cut Orlan out or actually make a copy of him and put him in another layer. So I'm, gonna do an, I'm doing a rough uh, selection of him right now. Um, you know, usually I would do it around 200 300 percent so I get the finer details but this is just for demonstration purposes so all right yeah like I said uh, to make to make him pop out I want to desaturate the background um, not not too much just 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 a little bit um, you know everyone has their different cup of taste you know a cup of tea I just want a little bit to make them pop out you know still make it feel realistic um, so yeah so I did I, I select I uh, you know traced them out made a copy and put them in a new layer and call it Orlon so as you can see I'm creating I uh, going to desaturate the background I think I did a negative 25. Negative 20, negative 25 around there. Yeah, there we go. So, all right. So then I'm going to show you what it looks like desaturated and then, you know, toggle the, uh, the switch on and off. So right now it's on and this is off. See? So just desaturate it a little bit and just make them pop a little bit. You know, still still make the picture look realistic. All right. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start doing a dodge and burn. 
Um, the algin burn is uh, a method to add shadows and uh, highlights to areas you know where you apply it. In this case, I'm gonna I want to make his muscles pop out. I mean, you can see it here, but I'm gonna make them really pop out. And you know the wrinkles in his shirt, um, his pants. Um, so, um, what I did right here, um, to, I create a new layer. But before uh, hitting the left, uh, left click on the button, you hold Alt and you click on the uh, you, you left click on the icon for create new layer. So that dialog box pop up, and then you just select the uh, the blend mode to overlay. So, yeah. By doing this on another layer, you become non-destructive also, um, which um, if you don't like what you did, you can always delete this layer. So it won't destroy your picture, your original picture. So. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna um, put some shadows into his muscles right now, emphasize it. So we want to switch to blacks, select that brush. I like to start my, uh, flow really low you know fairly low around 70 80 percent and then my opaque can see around 15 percent ish um, and you know I like to use a smaller brush for this and make it a little more finer so um, all right so I'm going to change my mode to with that color dodge there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of different type of, you see there's three different type of dodges and burns. You know, I try to read this stuff on Wikipedia. I'm like, I was kind of lost. But so you have to experiment. But for this case, I use a, uh, I believe a color dodge. Let's see why I select a color dodge. Yeah, and we, like I said, we use a smaller uh, brush, probably like a, I think I start with 30, but I'll probably go down to 15 or 10 or 18 pixels. And then start working on his, you know, highlighting his muscles. So there we go. You know, and, and whatever you did, you, you know, if you do, if you put too much shadows, you could just flip the switch and put the, you know, and restart over or just. Um, put the highlights over the shadows, you know. So you, you know, you could try it out, see if you like it. If not, you could, or you could just press the undo button and go back. So right here, I'm, you know, emphasizing his muscles and his arms. His pants. The sh you know, add, add some more drama. It's the creases in his pants too. And then also his shirt, which I think I did in his shirt. Yep. You know, if you want to add more, since you start really low, if you want to add more, just go over the same area again and then we'll multiply. So I'll switch the highlights from here. And then I want to add some uh, highlights to his hand, like the flashes really bright on his hands and his fingertips. And, you know, emphasize his arm too. You know, it takes a little practice. Um, it's, you know, it's all judgment call, and you know, just a little practice. I'm not a professional at it, so. Um, but you do, you do, you do what you know you feel what's right, but you don't want to go too overboard with it. So uh, I'm doing his fingertips right now. Like I said, uh, this is just this is just really quick. Um, just a little demonstration. Um, how I made him pop out his picture really. Um, 
Now, I, yeah, I decreased it a little bit, just be a little more delicate around his shoes. You know, also around his pants. And his shirt. Right now, you might not see much difference since I switched it to 5%, but any little changes collectively is huge. And you could do this with the mouse. You don't need a tablet or anything like that. Um, just take your time. So um, I'm going to, I think, what am I doing here? I guess I'm just renaming that layer and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So this is on this is off so it's back on so you can see the definition this is a really rough edit but you can see the the emphasis with arms pants so there you go and um i want to show you what i did um also did some uh brightened up the back of the um uh, where the flash light lamps were hitting on the floor and that uh, this little piece of brick over here, I guess a little platform of some sort. It, you know, just add a little more drama to it. So what did I made a selection here? So I'm only going to affect that that area. And I just thought, oops, I, I guess I went with a bigger brush, yeah. And just start working it in. You see, it's getting lighter. It's getting brighter too. So that's pretty much it. So um, that's how I did. You know, it's basic dodge and burn. You can actually do dodge and burn in Lightroom. Um, I just feel a little more comfortable with um, you know, using doing dodge and burn in Photoshop. Yeah. But all this you can do in Lightroom three, um, Lightroom four. Um, you know, yeah. You know, the reason why I do in Photoshop because I can make. I could do these type of selections so uh, I'm more precise to me I feel I'm more precise um, doing these type of modifications to an image so yeah um, have at it uh, hopefully this thing helps and if you have any questions feel free to send me a message or leave a comment below um, so have a good night peace